Hello, welcome this evening. I'm happy to be with you here this evening. Um, we're going to have a good event tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we'll try to stay on topic and not be too crazy, uh, and um, we'll see how everything goes tonight. We're going to continue our mini-series this evening on falling, um, how to prevent it, and why it matters. We're going to cover our balance track program. Uh, we'll have a couple of special guests that are going to join us this evening, one of which will share their experiences with our balance track program specifically. I've fallen before, and it, it hurt. Yes? Yeah. Yep. That matters to me. We're, uh, we're going to wait just a little few seconds. We're going to let kind of a few more people kind of uh, join in here in a little bit. I know it takes a little bit of time to, to hop on and get connected sometimes, so we'll give a little bit of time for that. While we wait for that, um, those of you that have already joined in, please consider sharing this to your timeline. You can hit the little share button. Um, that will make it available to others that you might uh, know. They could have some benefit from this as well. Um, family, loved ones, parents, children that may have issues with falling. Um, we'd like them to be able to benefit from this Facebook Live event as well. Timeline. Yeah, I have that on my face, Grant. Yes, you do. Yeah. And you can go back and watch some of our other uh, Facegram live events <laughs> where we covered in our series one and uh, part one and part two on falls, why they matter, how to prevent them. And then falls kind of specifically exercises that you can do at home that are kind of basic and simple to help with some of those. Our goal is really to provide as much information as possible to help reduce the risk of falls um, and then to help kind of improve quality of life um, confidence and avoid the, the fear and some of these pitfalls that come along with balance problems and falls and especially repeated falls and the health issues that tend to come along with that. So I think we've probably given enough time for everybody that's going to join us at least immediately. So we'll go ahead and get started. Get started about talking on falls. Absolutely. Yeah. My name is Jonathan Stoddard. I'm a physical therapist here at Barkman and Smith Physical Therapy. I've been here a long time. Before we get into kind of the meat and potatoes of all of our live stream, uh, one thing that we're really excited to announce tonight is that we'll be opening our third location in September. Um, we've been working on this pretty tirelessly for quite a while. Uh, with delays of COVID, we've made it past all of those and our third clinic will open up in the Alliance. I think we're about a month away, kind of the Golden Triangle area. area. Look for our Facebook Live posts or Facebook in the future, we'll do some live posts from there. Up there um, north on the 35. So if you know anybody yeah. there in that area, please let them know that we'll be right around the corner from them very shortly. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue our, our series here with our part three. Tonight, like I mentioned, we're gonna focus on Balance Track. For those of you tuning in that don't know about Balance Track, it's an evidence-based exercise program um, that we developed here within Barkman and Smith Physical Therapy. Um, it's kind of focused and worked around improving balance, stability, coordination, walking ability. So one of our, our guests here tonight is uh, Vincent Smith, who's the, the brains and kind of the mad scientist behind Balance Track program. So I'm going to turn the time over to him to kind of introduce what Balance Track is, what went into it, and really kind of what he was thinking of whenever he uh, started to make balance track. So, Vince? Well, yeah, it started a long time ago, maybe 20 years ago. Uh, I had some patients that I was afraid to walk with because they were so bad with balance that I was really fearful that I would get injured along with the patient. And so it started with that kind of an idea. And we, dipped, we started with just a single line that was dropping down from the ceiling. Um, but that worked so well for us that we decided to put in a thing that we would call an overhead suspension system. And so when we completed the building here in Bedford, we built that into the building. Um, all the facilities will have a, a balance track built in. Um, balance track then has progressed along the way into the point where we trademarked it. And so it's available if anybody wants to learn Balance Track or put it into effect, they can talk to us about doing that with, with, with their facilities. Um, it's beneficial because it gives you complete safety from falling. Uh, the worst that can really happen to you is one of the straps will maybe chafe a little bit on your skin, but you're not going to be able to fall even if you try. 
So it eliminates the fear of falling by building confidence. And once you boost confidence, uh, you'll get the person taking way more chances as far as what's going on and what they'll be willing to do. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot more that, like you mentioned, whenever that, that fear of falling goes away, our patients will take risks that they wouldn't take otherwise. And we've seen a lot of benefit from, yeah. from those kind of risk taking chances as far as improving balance. It's been amazing to see some of the progress that they've made when that fear of falling is Yeah, because removed. then they start doing stuff that's kind of at the edge and maybe even over the edge. And the real truth is, is if you don't you know, challenge them with stuff that's more advanced, they're not gonna get better. Uh, so creating an environment for balance, strength, and safety is kind of the base of it. Once you've done that, you take the activity program and the functional testing to support it, and you bring it into the community as far as utilizing your balance improvement to go do the things that you enjoy. Uh, you may be thinking, who would benefit? Well, anybody that has difficulty walking, or if you think that you have an uncoordinated gait pattern, or if you have relatives that seem worried that you might fall. Obviously, if you have a history of taking a fall, or even if you're afraid that you might fall, those are all signs that you could be having a balance problem. If any of those details, uh, especially like maybe you don't go play with your grandkids anymore, or stuff that's fun for you, if any of those things aren't happening, um, that's when you know that this might be something that you need. You may not want to do it, but it's better than falling and sustaining a really severe injury that could make you to never be able to walk again. Yeah. If you go back and watch our part one series um, in our kind of fall, uh, we talk about some of the um, the issues that come along with that fear of falling and when is a good time to address that is exactly like Vince mentioned. The time is to address it before you've had a fall. When you start to have that kind of thing in the back of your mind that you feel unsafe about doing some of those things and your quality of life has declined, that's when it's really a perfect time to start addressing falls. And then obviously if you've had a fall, um, it's time to address things immediately as well. Um, so we're going to kind of go over balance track a little bit as far as kind of how the program itself works rather than just kind of talking about it. It's much better to kind of see how balance track works. So I mentioned earlier that we have another guest that would be joining us this evening. So we're, we're happy to have uh, Alton with us today. So Alton was, is a patient at, at Barkman and Smith. That, but Alton is <laughs> one of our favorite patients as well. So. He's a graduate of the Balance Track program yeah. several times, so we wanted to give him an opportunity to talk about kind of uh, what led up to some of his balance issues, what brought him here to Barkman and Smith, and then how Balance Track has been helpful, and we'll, we'll take a chance to kind of put him in the Balance Track harness, and, and he and Vince can kind of dance around and, and do a few things to give people an idea of balance track. So I'm going to turn the time over to you to, to talk a little bit and we'll try not to interrupt you. Okay, thanks. Well, I, uh, September of 17, I got bit by a mosquito and, and developed West Nile virus. And basically what it did, it paralyzed my right leg. So since 17 through today, I've been working with a physical therapist on strength in the leg. And as we got into this area, it's been really beneficial to work with the balance track program to Strengthen my leg. I th strengthen my leg. It gives me confidence to do what I normally wouldn't do. And as we go through the exercises, these guys really put you through the test. And so it kind of allows me to have the confidence to take a step to do the exercises they want me to do uh, uh, going forward with with their program that they developed for me. So it's been it's been very very beneficial. In fact, this week, uh, last week, I was down on the beach. And was able to walk out onto the beach, got into the water, and walked around this type of thing. And I got to give a lot of the credit to you guys, to to one to have the confidence, one to do it, and two to have the stamina to do it. So, to me, it's been very beneficial. Yeah, and I can I I kind of joined part of Alton's experience with balance track and therapy midstream as I transitioned from our Irving Clinic over here, um, and it's been fun to watch Alton kind of 
progress to the point where he's able to do more and feels more steady. And the only thing I could say that would help more is if you take your therapist to the beach with you, we can probably, well, <laughs> you know, well, we can do that. Or <laughs> even yeah. a couple of therapists to be extra safe. You know, we can, we can do, do that. that. You know, yeah. y'all set it up. I will be your guest. I love this game. All right, if you don't mind, sure. I'll get you hooked in and we'll run through a little bit of what goes Absolutely. on in Balance Track. Uh, but we get the patient into his harness suspension. So that we know they can't fall. It kind of works like your uh, kind of works like your car. And as much as it, the seat belt, if you go fast, it's going to stop you. Whereas it will allow the patient though to make slow movements and sit down slowly. Um, the first thing that we try to work on is getting the person to know that they can't fall. So I'm going to set you up real tight here. Okay. Oh, you yeah. help. You got it, you got it. Yep. And then we're going to go ahead and pretend like there's a chair behind, but I want you to just go like you were going to sit down for me. Okay. And we'll show them the end range of what could happen. In other words, that's as far down as he can go with the system. He can't fall. Now, if you go ahead and come back up. So that's the first phase of getting the person to buy into it is knowing <coughs> absolutely consciously and hopefully unconsciously that they can't take a fall. Um, once that's established, as far as walking goes, there's two ways to walk. You gotta shift your balance either with your shoulders to balance or with your hips. Right. Now, if your shoulders are what's doing it, it looks like this and we call it waddling. If we're using our hips, it looks like this and we call that walking. Now, it's way safer to walk using the hips as much as possible. So we'll encourage the client in the beginning to just work on those hip shifts, back and forth. And like Alton has that trouble side, and that's why I push it, just like that. All right, my man, go over, yeah, good. And so once we've established some balance shifting at the hips, We'll work on one-legged balance from there. Then we'll work on stuff like a pole, walking, getting around type of activity. Um, we'll go for one right now. Hang up. And if you will, just walk up around the little circle in the back of the chair. So that's kind of the basics of how we run it. Later, of course, he'll be doing all kinds of crazy things and movements and different things, pointing, looking. And eventually progression would include like eyes closed, standing on balance mats. Um, you've probably done, I've done all most of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so from the perspective of a balance track, those are the main components. Once we get the main components built in, people start at home with the main components too, and we just keep progressing to whatever their physical you know, capacity really is. And pretty much that's kind of the, a summary of balance track. Some things that have to happen. If you don't let go when we're working, and you don't trust that you can't fall, and this is what we're doing, you're, you're just not gonna get better. Um, you don't build anything. So you have to take that chance. And we start by hand hovering, just like this. And we progress to holding and build that stability over time. You get people that get better and better, you gotta challenge them more and more. So it's been fun with them to do that. Um, so kind of a, call to action, I guess I would say, is we would love to give you a free complimentary balance screen. And uh, anybody can give us a call at any time and we'll be glad to set you up for that screen. We get many, many people coming in for balance only. Um, I would say 20 years ago, you'd get somebody that had a fractured arm because they fell. Or you'd get somebody that fractured their leg because they fell. They got a brain injury because they fell. 
So what was the real problem? Was it their arm, their leg? No, their problem was balance and falling. And so, yeah, it's way better to do a little balance work each day than to fall. So we encourage you. Yep. It's absolutely one of those prevention is the best form of medicine when it comes to balance and falls. Preventing the event is going to have a much bigger impact on quality of life than reacting to the event would have. So please um, take us up on what Vince mentioned earlier. Um, as far as a free balance screening, um, you can call uh, either of our clinics, our Bedford Clinic, our Irving Clinic, and then in the future, you can contact our Alliance Clinic. Um, come in, schedule a time with the ladies. We'll sit down, we'll kind of go over your um, some fall tests. Um, we'll assess what your risk for falls is. We give you a score. Um, that's something that you can take back to your doctor and give them some information and say, here's my risk for falls. This is what my score is. And these are some of the things that I'm able to do about that. And then we can work on addressing those kind of geared toward specifically what you want to accomplish in your life and kind of getting back to a, a quality of, of life that you would like to. And most people start out somewhat fearful. That's normal. But by the time that they're done, almost all of them are more confident. And then they get to have fun, like going to the beach. I can't wait till we're all going. Man. Yeah, let's do it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So our next Facebook Live will occur at the beach with Alton. <laughs> I don't know what the, the topic of that one is going to be, other than uh, how about at the beach with Alton, Vincent, Jonathan. and the, the, the topic will probably be sarcastic humor. But, I mean, we've got to be at least the second most famous physical therapist on the internet. Well, no, it's going to be walking in the sand with our assistance in the beach. That's it, guys. Waves as you walk into waves. 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 So, like that. That, there's a song in there. Yeah. So after our Lions <laughs> Clinic, we'll open one up in Destin on the Beach. Yeah. And right. <laughs> we'll expand our program to Man, this uh, is great sand and, I love and the beach. I love it. Can do it, guys. Thanks, bud. If, if you do have any other topics that you would like us to cover other than Alton, Vince, and Jonathan at the beach working on their balance, um, please comment in our Facebook section. Um, let us know where uh, this is a monthly occurrence kind of reminder. So the last Wednesday of each month We'll cover a different physical therapy topic um, So our next one is going to be on August 25th And then we thought it would be fun to kind of add in kind of a mid-month Was that on the Instabook? Facebook live? It's on the Instabook Facegram. Yes. Yes um, So we'll try to add in kind of a middle Facebook live that's a get to know your physical therapist So our goal is to kind of have a little bit of fun and get to know each physical therapist, uh, maybe some things you don't know about them, so kind of personalities of each physical therapist, little known facts. Uh, we'll like probably like I wasn't we like this until I met John. Probably nobody knows that. Yeah. Just say, say what I'm saying. And I was Very well. Um, we'd like to thank you for joining our Facebook Live event tonight. Um, we'd like to thank everybody that's kind of joined us for each part in the series. For those of you who had it, again, please go back and watch those. Please join us for our next ones. Please take an opportunity to let us know what topics you would like to hear about, and we'll add those in. Uh, we'll be joined. Um, all things go well. We'll be uh, next Facebook Live event will happen in our new Alliance Clinic, um, potentially Thanks. with with yeah. Michael. Um, so we'd like to thank you again. Have a wonderful evening. And please let us at Barkman and Smith know um, if there's anything that we can ever do to assist and serve you. And then kind of a last special thanks to thanks, you thanks, for, for joining us tonight. It's been fun.